Well, these skeletons can't jump over, but they are jumping and firing. At least when I was a little closer. Oh, bastards. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. yep. <laughs> Man. I don't think I have... Do I have arrows on me? I do have some arrows on me. Okay, you guys are... Alright. How do I do this? Hmm. How do I do it safely should be the question. Yes. But what now? I got your brother. I want to kill him at his own game with this jumping attack. I'm missing as much as he is. <laughs> ha! Oh, okay, we're tied. Oh. Yeah. I'm the man. Don't point out how many shots that took me, and how I just ran away from that skeleton. <laughs> okay, that's not smart. I forgot about him that quickly. Hey, I don't want... I don't know how great decoration that makes. Uh oh. <laughs> Fell out of my home. Ah... Uh sword. Ah, not an axe. Oh, I met, messed up my torch system. Okay, much better. Damn! These guys are relentless. They all got together and said, okay, now how do we get I wonder if he was the mastermind. Figured it out. Ha! That's right. Didn't even wait for the sun to burn you. No! Oh. <laughs> Almost stepped on him. I wonder if the shade from the tree is protecting him. How come he's not burning? Yeah, you're definitely burning. You! What's your deal? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. Ha. Huh. I wonder why he's not on fire. Okay. Why are you not on fire either? You just walked over here. This is weird. Let's see if I can bring him out in the open if he. Whoa! If he catches on fire. Come on. Yeah, you. Okay, he took fall damage. What the hell? Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> Finally. Guess those trees were protecting him. I think. I have no other explanation. This was a creeper explosion. <laughs> this guy's interrupting my house construction. Aw, it looks like when I was away, cows took refuge in my house. They thought they would be safe in here. <laughs> hmm. 
Sorry, boys. The door is closed. <laughs> Welcome to the slaughterhouse. Yeah, you were you were safer out there. <laughs> my first night with my lighting system. Um, also added a third level, so I don't have any hopping skeletons shooting at me. Uh, and the lighting system's, you know, doing a pretty good job. Here a zombie out there. Obviously, there's a spider. Um. I should figure out some kind of way of making a spot for me to shoot through or attack through. That would be cool. Since my home seems to attract... Yeah, there are a bunch of zombies. A whole lot of bad guys. I guess they like the location as much as I did. <laughs> I got a little housing update, so I decided to make uh, two sets of double doors in front, and this will make it a little easier depending on what, what side I'm coming from, uh, if I want to access my inventory workbench, um, or if I want to quickly go over to the furnaces, or uh, what's recently happened is I was being chased, and <laughs> it was convenient to have a closer door. Um, and this is probably catching your eye, I hope anyway. Um, so this is brick, what you're seeing. And the way you make brick is you get clay, which I pointed out before. So you get clay, and then... This, this is what it looks like when you dig up clay, and it's found in beachy, sandy areas. You've got to get a mount, and you put it in a furnace, and smelt it into clay bricks, and from there, four bricks, four clay bricks become uh, these stone blocks. And stone blocks are really sturdy. I read that they are immune to explosions, so a creeper, if he blew up near my house, would blow up this area. But if he blew up here, he'd just, I guess, blow up everything behind um, this, but not the actual uh, brick blocks. So, um, so again, clay bricks make, or clay blocks, sorry, clay blocks make bricks. Uh, and a cool thing about brick is that it is not only immune to explosion, but it is um, immune to... it's not flammable. Um, so if I eventually come across lava, dump it in here, and I've got myself, hopefully it looks like, a fireplace, because that's what uh, I try to make. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I got, uh, everything surrounded and ready for, for lava, which hopefully I'll be able to fill up, and I, I think that would look really cool at night. Also, I want to point out over here, I've planted a few saplings. I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to get some trees going up. Mainly what I want to do, um, I, I talked about this a little before, I want to have a a way of, I guess, sniping bad guys at night or something like that. And I thought it'd be kind of cool if I put up a tree um, and and then maybe made a ladder going up the tree and perched up on a tree. I could. I could do some sniping, scouting, whatever. Um, so I've got a few more planted. I'll see how they turn out. Maybe I'll, I'll put some saplings, plant some saplings over here. But that that's my idea, and I, I that sounds like a lot of fun to me. So again, keeping you guys updated, and I'm, I'm pretty excited, so. Thought I'd give a little idea of how many 
mobs there are around where I live, while at the same time showing them on fire. I really am holed up here um, at night. There's just so many of them out there. You can see I've, I've got a tree up here uh, and uh, this is a different one um, than the first I tried. I, I'd love to get a really high one uh, so I can make some kind of um, some kind of, I guess, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, rampart, um, up there, um, so I can at least, uh, shoot down, if not, not everything at night, but, uh, I at least want to shoot down, uh, the creepers. Because I've already had one, um, because they'll still be there during the day, and I've already had one take out. It was around here, I filled it in, but grass is still growing. Take out this big corner of my, my house, which was just great, because uh, I needed to make more glass, and, you know, it's wooden and all that. So, yeah, it'd be cool if I could make some kind of tree fort uh, that will protect me from skeleton arrows and um, and I could take out at least creepers or if I did need to go out from here to somewhere at night I could obviously see how safe it would be but anyway um, I guess uh, every morning I can go out and collect free arrows and again, if I kill creepers too, then I can start getting a lot more gunpowder, which would lead to fun with TNT. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I just died, but, um, hey, it happens. Go figure, it was a creeper. But I wanted to take this opportunity to point out this, uh, you see, probably, I don't know how clear it is, light in the distance. Um, it's from a uh, I guess I felt it was like a floating, it was like a buoy that I lit up, a uh, little square of land that I put torches all around, so it really did help out. It's harder to tell now because the sun's coming out, but it's letting me know where to go. Here it is up close. Again, not, not a big deal when you look at it, but something little like that really does make a big difference. It's guided me back guided me back to um, my new location from my spawn more than once. Well, I'm currently low on materials of, of all kind, um, just for tools. And I, I need another spider silk to make another bow. Um, and again, just low on materials, even stone. And I don't want to just randomly dig up close to home. So I'm going to go look around for um, cave systems, little pockets, uh, maybe get some coal as well. And you probably noticed this, this is not permanent, it doesn't look good either. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is, you know, I talked about, um, it would be really cool if I had uh, a, a tree fort of, of sorts where I could shoot bad guys from and scout my area. So I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, but, whoops, I, uh, planted some saplings, um, close to the tree that already grew inside my area. Uh, I had to, I, I believe, you know, it has to be planted on grass, so what you see here is I, I made a series of dirt steps, I guess, that, uh, uh, turned into grass, uh, or grass grew on top of the dirt and took a little bit of time, uh, but eventually the grass grew all the way up and and around here. So again, keeping you guys updated and, and off to uh, find uh, hopefully a cave system.